What is up, guys? Fredo One here. Welcome to my live reaction for the, for the last time for this week of Toriko Chapter Twenty Four: An Unwelcome Guest. We got a nice cover page here. We got Kiss and Coco in the background with Kamatsu picking some potentially some mushroom, and then we got a battle wolf with Toriko. Let's just get straight into this chapter, guys. I'm looking. No, no, no. He's all right up now. So we've got the treble, we've got the devil python. Pyro, some super relaxed. Ah, relaxation is my only option. Fragrance composed of the calming pheromone excreted from the body of the world's most peaceful animal, the green manatee. Nothing is immune to its, to its balm. Any high tension situations such as mating rituals, spawning, or child rearing immediately escalates. It also works on humans and is used in animal therapy sessions. Calm down, so she's even a little bit calmer would be nice. So Rin's going in. So he's going in. He's attacked Rin. Take it, Ranch! So she's unleashing it like at full on toxicity. So it's got the thing. He's shooting out the poisons. Yuck! Oh crap, it's headed for the arena. So it's going towards the arena. The bird is out. Yeah. We have the aviate. The, the, yeah, the avian abomination has left the arena. Run, run away. So we've got all the other nobles and that all running. Hey, you. Get back in your bird cage. Frying pan punched. He's knocking out the bird. Bird's like, huh? <laughs> Hello. Dish. Kadish. Well, color me amazed. I never expected a clone to be capable of parthenog parthenogenesis. Is this the work of the gourmet cells? <laughs> Welcome, little one, to the age of gourmets. So we've got Toriko just watching over. So I'll make sure I didn't skip a page. Nope, I didn't. Cool. So we've got the battle wolf, the mum, and the pup. So it took a lot out of, out of her. Childbirth always does. But she looks more exhausted than she should. Could it have something to do with the short lifespan of clone cells? We've got glee. we got like a bang. we got an explosion. So that's the devil python. So the devil python is like, ah! Everyone's like, huh? What's going on? The devil python's like, what? It's the devil python! Could there be a worse time? And it's mad. It's really pissed off! Oh, great. Not this again. What a pain. I, I suddenly missed you. I suddenly missed you, Coco. <laughs> and Coco's like, oh, shit. And we've got the thing. It's gluggling. It's squishing. It's going in. It's taking out everything else. It's just holding up the other creatures. <laughs> Looks like it's, yeah, it's eating all these other creatures. It's like, huh? And the silverback's just running. It's got the bird. But crying out loud. R Rin really messed. Rin really messed this up. Yikes. This bother seems worse than the one in the cave. Hmm? Boy. Why aren't you running away? Huh? Uh, how do I put this? Well, I've been on plenty of trips to Toriko, and this kind of hairy situation is par for the course. I even died once, you know. <laughs> Little man's big balls. <laughs> the big wings here could learn something from you. <laughs> and Mance is like, ah, ha, ha. He's just laughing. I love Mance. And he's literally has, has zero shit. He's got like literally a devil python raging. And he's laughing. I love it. Just look. Without their fancy nuclear weapons under their fingertips, they're all panties. Because even if they did have weapons, running is the best option for them here. <laughs> Mance is just laughing. I love it. Still, if Terrico is able to break through this reinforced acrylic shield, then I miscalculated him. He's stronger than he used to be. Benefits of a good diet, I suppose. Hmm? Alright, so we've got everyone right, but there's still one person just sitting there. That guy. Well, well, if it isn't President Dohem of the Republic of Roto, I sincerely apologize for what's happened. I know you were... 
So looking forward to the event. You must be crushed. Hmm. But you must put your safety first. I recommend you evacuate at once. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so it's a, nah, it's a GT robot. It has to be. Huh? What the? Alright, so he's put the hand through him. Through Manson. Director? Hmm? Frying pan punch! And he's just whacked him. Hmm. The new model I've heard about, huh? So, you were already here. It's a GT robot. Called it. Called it. You got the GT robot. Talking like, huh? What's going on? It's got a bit of an aura about it. It's him. So the wolf stand up. Just one of you cocky bastard. One ten can of ten. It's all the same to me. It's like, so it looks like Director Manson's warming up. Dude, and it's ended. No. And that's the end of chapter 24. An unwelcome guest. So it looks like Gourmet Corp has broken into Biotope 1. And it looks like they're going to be doing some damage, guys. But anyway, guys, that is it. Tomorrow you'll get your normal reviews. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, the next time we'll come back to Tor Torica will be in a few weeks. And it's going to be Gourmet 25, A Time for Love. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Like it, all that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.